Hello, good people of YouTube. Mountbatten here. And today, well, actually a few days ago, the Black, the Tier 9 Premium US Fletcher Class Destroyer was reintroduced into the game. Now, a very brief summary of the Black is that it's a Fletcher that's a premium ship at Tier 9, but it trades its AA for a 7.5 kilometer American radar. So it's a Fletcher with radar. Again, in a very brief description of the ship, which is, of course, a very strong tool for a DD to have, the ability to spot any other DDs around it. That's something that if you play DDs a lot, you'll know that your, de your detection range is a very big thing, and having the smallest detection range means that you can outspot other DDs, which can either give you a advantage, meaning you can jump on them before they know that you're even there, get your guns going before they have a chance to get their guns going, or you also have an advantage in terms of, well, you can opt out of engaging them and turn away and run away before they can close the distance and engage you. And if you're in the Kalbaros here with the build that I'm running on, you have a 9.7 kilometer concealment because who cares if I'm spotted, I'm in Kalbaros. And man, let me tell you all, the matches I had just trying to get some destroyer gameplay for the background footage for this video, they were something all right you're going to see two of the most entertaining games that i had here but anyway so the black is back however right now she hasn't fully returned at the moment you can get the black if you do one of two things one grind through a web campaign that's on the web but it's also just in the armor it's kind of weird it's like the normal campaigns that we have in game but instead of being in the campaign menu they stuck it in the armory and you go through there read all the yada 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 do the combat missions you can earn pacific tokens and these pacific tokens will unlock sections of a sequential bundle chain in the armory under the return of the black section and you have to get all the way through these sequential bundles until you can finally get the black. Now, in these sequential bundles, there are actually a fair amount of goodies. There's a couple of containers you can get. You can also pick up two unique commanders, Arlie Burke and Takeo Takagi. You know, that's pretty neat. Some free commanders there, and also a pretty neat camo for the black. It's actually pretty clean looking, and I might hopefully get through this. Now, you can do that by, of course, grinding through the campaign and getting the Pacific tokens that way. And then finally, what is your reward after grinding through this campaign? The ability to dump 19,300 doubloons on the black, which is, I believe, right on $80 worth of doubloons, which is the normal cost of a tier 9 premium ship. So, that's one way that they're doing it. The other way you can get her right now is if you go and dump somewhere along the lines of 40,000 doubloons on this campaign because it's wargaming they offered up a way for you to get through this campaign without actually having to play through it you can buy these specific token bundles in the armory you have a couple that are uh, some 5,000 bundles and some 2,500 bundles that you have a limited number that you can buy that are at a discounted rate overall then you just have these 500 pacific token bundle you can buy apparently indefinitely until you get enough tokens to get through the whole thing and then dump another 19,300 doubloons on the black and uh, I think it's like 41 or like 43,000 doubloons that you have to dump into this method if you want to get the black this way now you might be thinking well that's a lot of cashola that you have to dump into this event if you want to get the black in yeah black is a very desirable ship and wargaming knows it so they knew that if they released her in this manner they were going to get a fair bit of profit from it and from the amount of blacks that i've seen in game since this event has gone live they, they, they've probably made their money back already on it now of course, there is the third way, and the way that I recommend everyone watching here gets the black is that on July 1st, she's coming out as a coal ship. That's right. This ship that some players are dumping 40,000 plus doubloons into just to get it two weeks early is coming out as a free coal ship. She's going to release for a... I don't think they've released the exact price just yet. They might have in the, the um, patch notes today haven't checked those yet but we've been told she's going to cost around the same as the new which is the tier 9 
uh, Soviet DD, that's the DD with the zombie hill, which is in the neighborhood of 270-ish, 90-ish thousand coal, which is a pretty steep price to pay for a coal ship, but I mean, hey, with the new Shishimi, um, 296,000 coal for the new Shishimi, get a DD with a zombie hill which is a pretty strong uh, perk to have. And, of course, uh, Fletcher with Radar at Tier 9 is also a fairly strong perk to have. And, of course, the resource coupon just reset, so you can get 25% off of this uh, black if you want to buy the black for that much, uh, or for coal, which, again, I strongly recommend you guys do. And, again, the ship is going to be free in two weeks for everyone to get via coal. So, yeah... Don't fall for the... I don't even know if this is even fear of missing out because the, the ship's coming out in a normal manner in two weeks for free for everyone as a coal ship. Coal that everyone has a very ease of access to in order to get coal ships. But yeah, this is just more of this insane... Uh, and I, I mean, I, I can't really complain about it too much because the ship is coming out for free, you know, and you're paying upwards of a hundred and what, hundred and sixty dollars for early access to a tier nine premium ship that they have nerfed. They, I believe, they either shorten the radar range or shorten the radar duration um, from the original black, which was just, of course, a complete nut house with long duration American radar that goes out to uh, seven point five kilometers. I think it might have been eight before they they nerfed it. But they nerfed one of the two. But anyway, you're paying that much for a tier 9 premium ship. That is going to one day cease to exist whenever this game dies. Which that might be in 10 years, 15 years, might be in 2 months. Who knows. But good god guys. I mean, again, I can't really complain too much because there's a free alternative to get it. You just gotta wait 2 weeks, which I strongly encourage everyone to do. I know it's the black, it's a very desirable ship. But it's not worth throwing two hundred dollars at, at, at all. I mean, it's a Fletcher. Fletcher's a good boat, but it's a Fletcher at tier nine, and at tier nine now, we have lots of kooks that we're getting now with these super ships, and submarines, and these super CVs too, like the Hawk or I'm sorry, the Eagle. Nah, the Hawk that would be a pretty cool name for a CV. Actually, no, that's one of the uh, battle cruisers, I do believe. But anyway. You're paying that much for a tier 9 ship that's currently, the whole tier is being shafted by having to fight super ships that they were never designed to even face at all. Now, if you do have a desire to get the black as soon as possible, I would still strongly recommend that you grind out the missions first because that literally cuts the cost in half. And you're only forking out $83 worth of doubloons or $87 worth of doubloons versus $160. And, you know, it, it is at the, at the end of the day. It is your money. You do what you want with your money. It's your money. You earned it. You can spend it how you see fit. And, of course, spending it on this... Of course, enables the game to continue to exist. You know, they gotta pay for the servers, they gotta pay to develop new content for the game and things like that. So, you know, it is understandable they want to make some money doing this. But I mean, don't fall for the the mega pit of dumping forty thousand blooms into an event to get a free ship two weeks early. It's not even like the French cruisers right now, the early access events where you get those ships for two months early before anybody else. You're literally just paying to get it 14 days at this point actually when this video goes up um like 13 <laughs> days away from it being released in full for free and even if you don't want the black i would still encourage you guys to go through and participate in the web campaign because you do get some nice stuff from the web campaign you can get a couple of containers you get the unique commanders and one of them's arlie burke and that was a he was a pretty neat guy if you want to read up on his history so there is that stuff there is good stuff here there's Again, some really nice free content here. And if you are picking up the black and you want that camouflage, I mean, you can get that through the web campaign. It is a bit of a long campaign, and it's going to take you a hot minute to get through it. But it's nothing that's impossible for the average Joe to go through and get done. But anyway, guys, that's my two cents on the return of the black. I will be reviewing her once she comes out for coal on July 1st. I know a lot of you guys have been commenting about that. Uh, what do you think about the black? I don't have it right now. I didn't pick her up back in the day. She got removed, good God, like, I think three years ago, two years ago, something like that, before I was even really into destroyers at all. And even the destroyers that I'm really enjoying right now, they're the gunboats like Kaba, like you've been watching in the background uh, this entire time. 
and the American destroyers, they're, they're gunboats, but they're not running gunboats. They're more of smoke up and burn things down gunboats, which, you know, that's a pretty simple playstyle. But they have a lot of other traits going for them, but I'll get to them sometime in the future. But yeah, that review will be out once that ship gets released for free on July 1st, which again is a mere 13 days away at this point. But anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to drop a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. We're on our way to 40,000 subscribers, and I can't thank you guys enough for that. Hope you're all having a wonderful Thursday. Have a wonderful week. Hope to catch you guys in the next one.